Uh, I hope you had fun tonight, but uh, you know what? I hope you learned a lot from God's Word. You know, God's Word tells a totally different story about how we all got here than the world's wisdom. Do you guys agree? It tells a totally different story than what the world's wisdom tells us. Help! Oh, oh dear. Help! Oh, no. This is Ruth, that's oh, oh, me! Oh, oh, oh dear. And that his sin brought death into the world. 
And that very same Bible tells us that as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. So you see, everything we believe about Jesus is really connected to what we believe about Adam. If we don't trust what the Bible says about uh, creation, then we can't trust what it says about salvation. Salvation? What does that mean? Well, the whole point of the Bible, kids, is to tell the story of humans to show that we need to be saved from sin. Sin is all the stuff we do that's wrong. Thank you, Miss Blondahab. I knew that. Well, sin is a terrible enemy, and it threatens all of us with death. And since we all have sinned, we all need to be saved. Now, we talked about this last night, kids. Do you remember what sin is? Yep. Who can tell me what sin is? What's sin? That's right. It's when we disobey God, isn't it? And what does the Bible say? The wages of sin is. Romans 6, 23 says the wages of sin is? Death. That, that's right. That's the first time a dinosaur has ever answered a Bible question here, by the way. That's a high five. Good job. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. That's right. And that's the point, you guys. If you've sinned, raise your hand. Now, every hand in the room should go up. That's right. So that means we all deserve to die. But you know what? God didn't want us to die. He wants us to be with him, live with him. So what he did was he had his son. He sent his son to come and take that death and that sin for us. So he sent Jesus to come and he took all of our sin on himself and he died on the cross. And when he died, all of our sin died with him. And then he rose from the dead on the third day after that and the sin stayed dead. So... Isn't that cool what Jesus did? He took away the big problem from us. Isn't that great? Yeah. yeah. There's only one thing we got to do. There's only one thing we got to do. We got to choose Jesus because Jesus doesn't force himself on us. He didn't say, you all are believers automatically. You don't have a choice. We all have a choice. So now we have a chance to make a choice to have Jesus take away our sin. And all you got to do is talk to God and make him, make him a promise and then live that promise. And we're going to give you a chance to do that right now. So we're going we're gonna to talk to God. We're going to pray. So we're, gonna just, so we're not distracted. Close our eyes. Don't be looking around at your neighbor. And if you would like to ask Jesus to come into your heart and save you from your sin, if you'd like what he did to count for you, then you can pray this prayer with me right now. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I've done a lot of bad stuff, and I'm sorry. I don't want to be uh, a person who sins all the time anymore. I want to be someone who wants to obey you. I want you to be, be my boss. I want you to be my, my advisor, my counselor. I want you to come and live in my heart. And I want to do what makes you happy. Lord, I know that you died to take away my sin so that I can live with you. You did that because you loved me. So, Lord, I want to love you. So I pray that you'll come into my heart and be my boss, be my friend. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If any of you guys prayed that prayer tonight, if you asked Jesus to be your Lord, it means he's your God, your master, you asked him to be your savior, you asked him to save you from your sin, would you please tell one of your tour guides, one of your teachers, or come and tell me or tell Dr. Blunderhop? We would like to pray with you tonight. Just help and answer any questions you have. Would you guys do that if you prayed that tonight? Yeah. Please, before you leave tonight, please do that if you prayed tonight. But um, anyway, if any of you already knew Jesus and you prayed that, we pray that you'll get to know God better. So, Mr. Trinsworth. Yes. You're telling me that the Bible says we are all sinners. Yep. We will die because of our sin, yep. right? Yep. And we can only be saved by trusting Jesus? That's exactly right, Professor. Well, I can see that you trust this Bible of yours, and you have made some interesting points about why we should trust it, but I'm afraid I'm just not ready to do it yet. Um, no. Will you come back tomorrow at least? Well, my car is still in the shop since your dinosaur friends ruined it yesterday, so I suppose I'll have to come back. It looks as though I'll need to take my car to the same mechanic. Do you have anybody you recommend? I don't know that much about cars. Okay. I'm a scientist. Oh. <laughs> cars can still be Let's just think about that for a minute. 
Well, I hope that all of you will come back too because there's a lot more to learn. Tomorrow, we're going to learn about some of the great, wonderful dinosaurs that God created. And we're going to see that God's original design for the earth did not include death. So I hope you'll all come back because there's a lot more fun to be had. But now, I think we have a few things to do. We need to find out. Let's do the visitor awards first. I forgot this last night, so I have to make up some.